in this example, we've got a continuous random variable x with a probability density function of f of x equals 1 over k, where it's defined from 1 to k plus 1. We want to find an unbiased estimator for k. Well, it's a continuous random variable, and take some time to think about what this means. f at 1 or f at 2 or f at 1.5 doesn't actually mean anything, because this probability density function is just a way of finding the cumulative density function. I know that I have some function here, right? And it's this area that accumulates that is really what tells us the probability of any scenario. I can't look at f, I can't go f at 2 and tell me probability. That doesn't make any sense. It is a means to get to the cumulative function. So, knowing that, let's consider what we have. So if I want to find an unbiased estimator for k, well, I need to know what uh, the expected value is, because I want, I know, because if I do the expected value of something, of some statistic, then I need to get k when I'm done. So I need to find out what's the expected value of this particular function going to be. Well, if I find expected value, I know expected value takes an integral for a continuous random variable. An, <laughs> expected value for a continuous random variable takes the value from 1 to k plus 1, and it multiplies it by x times the PDF, f of x. That's the formula for expected value of a continuous random variable. I know that f of x is 1 over k, which is a constant. I'll pull that out. And I'm going to take the integral from k plus 1 to 1, or 1 to k plus 1 dx. Taking the integral now, I get 1 over k. And this is going to be x squared over 2 from 1 to k plus 1. And when I plug these values in, I end up getting uh, k plus 1 squared time oh, 2 over k, this minus 1. And what I get there, I get, if I work all that out, I get 1 over 2k k squared plus 2k, which then I can see ends up being 1 half k plus 1. This is the expected value. Now I need to find an unbiased estimate for k. So when I do computations on some statistic, then I end up with just k. So I have to basically try and figure out what is going to undo all this. So if I, and I'm going to really do some guessing and checking at this point. So if I think about, if I would do the expected value of just 2x as my statistic, well, then I know that's 2 times the expected value of x, which then would be 2 times a half k plus 1, which is then k plus 2, and I'm off by 2. But if I would take, as opposed to 2x, if I want to get rid of the negative the 2, I'm going to try 2x minus 2. And if I do this particular expected value, if I do the expected value on this variable or statistic, then I would go 2 expected value of x minus 2, which is 2 times a half k plus 1 minus 2, which is k plus 2 minus 2, which is k. So an unbiased estimator for k will be 2x minus 2 is an unbiased estimator for k. Because when I do the expected value of this particular statistic, I end up with k.